The kingdom of beasts. Many types of bulb blacks have settled in this cave. Perhaps they're building their empire. To them, I'm just a foreign invader that must be eradicated. If the danger becomes unavoidable, I'll need to rely on some of the items I brought with me. Oh, joy. Suggested are red and some other type. Hopefully I don't need the other type. Maybe I'll find the other type down here. Once you explore a cave 100%, creatures will reappear when you return. Yeah, we, we did find that out. Okay. First step is bust this wall down. Those are red Pikmin fighting that that dude over there. Oh, they're going to have to chill out for a second because I want to get Ochi over there. Wow. I had one red Pikmin make a very poor decision and it cost me four Pikmin. something in this grass. Okay. Easy peasy. Bringing all the loot back. I don't know what this is a puzzle of. I've not been paying close enough attention to the pieces to distinguish anything. Those guys are worth 10 sparklium. And then we got ourselves a croissant. And that looks like it's everything. Alright, time to bust down this wall. I guess it, it does make more sense to have a Pikmin carry that directly through than to have a Ochi do it. Look at him go. He's doing his best. Alright, we got everybody. I know that I don't technically need to gather everybody. I just like to. Sixteen. That means there's six sub-levels in here? Yeesh. This is going to be rough. I see water. I see rock Pikmin over there. Hello there, rock Pikmin. I don't think these guys are in 
any of the other games. Could these be Pikmin too? Well, there's no way these were mentioned in the voyage log. Ah, the hard, rocky rock Pikmin. They break crystal walls with their stout bodies and tough headbutts, survive being stepped on, and can't be pierced by needles. Despite their sturdiness, they can still be crushed on hard surfaces or by some creature's teeth. So their heart is rocks, huh? Now that I really look at them, I see how you could easily mistake this Pikmin for a basic stone. Well, we now have rock Pikmin. There's a big one sleeping over there. That was like a tube of paint or something. What is happening? Okay. I, I'm just confused. I was just... They were, like, stuck in this plant for a minute for some reason and I didn't know why. Alright, let's get the rock Pikmin on this wall first. Alright, to get over there, there's water, so what I can do is I can leave my Pikmin. Actually, I can just go around here manually, can't I? Never mind, I don't need to do any weird maneuvering. Okay, this will open up the exit. I gotta go this way too. How do I jump again? That button, got it. X. It's at the top, but it's X. Alright, time to kill the big guy. And if I recall, these guys, the orange ones are more like aware. They're more alert. You can't really sneak up on them. Why did you just turn? That's stupid. There you go. I think I may have lost a Pikmin in that. Okay, that looks like a bamboo shoot. job team it looks like that was all the treasure in this area so floor three of six six floors there's there's six floors that's nuts okay in order to defeat a numbered gate you need to defeat any creatures i think i have seen one of those before Uh, um, 
That is... Empress Wallblax? Really? This is gonna go great. Can you whistle, please? She's just standing there. Oh, got some squish. All right, there we go. <laughs> Was not expecting Empress Wall Blacks at any point here, but here we are. Poker chips. Let's see that ID info. Oh, you know who this is? I hope it's the doctor. Ah, it is. A doctor who lives for discovering and solving unusual cases. He jumps at every chance to test his experimental medicines. All right, we found another rescue officer. Yanni is a talented doctor with a wealth of knowledge. With his skills, we can treat any injuries or illnesses that come our way. I'll bet he can even do something about the leafling castaways. That means our pilot is the only one of us still missing. Please continue your search. Nice. You rescued our doctor, Yanni. Let's ask him to examine the leaf a leafling when he wakes up. Our pilot, Bernard, might be one after all. Bob is just circling, trying to find somewhere cozy enough for him. Listen, you got, you got this whole side of the desk. You have that whole side of the desk. You have my laptop. You have your pick of the, of the locations, boy. Okay, he's taking that side of the desk. I think I lost four Pikmin in that fight against the Empress. Not so bad. I'm sure I could have done better, but I'm not going for uh, max efficiency here. I'm just going for max results. And the result here is that she did, and I'm not. So mission accomplished. <laughs> Hello, Bob. He's made himself quite cozy. Okay, so that I need to hang down to pull it. No need to rush your explorations. You can return to the surface anytime. I don't want to. I'm not rushing my explorations, but once I'm in a cave, I want to finish the cave, man. Fire! Okay, a bunch of gold, but there's enemies up here. Oh, fire! I need to be more aware of these. Like, what is the tongue on that thing? Alright. He's taken care of. We can throw Pikmin. Okay, and that opens up the path back to the entrance. I don't understand what's happening with my controller. This has been frustrating me for a while now. Can I do anything with this can here? No. I can... How do I switch to Ochi? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Iron fences lowered, plural. Is that the is that the trick? Alright, get the rubber ducky, then we gotta get all the gold. And now that the iron fence has been lowered, we gotta go over there and fight this dude. Look at him doing a little scratch on himself like a cat. Pretty cute. Why are we zooming in on the ducky? Oh, because I reached my objective. To our naturals at this exploration stuff, Dan and Ochi. You've collected so much energy, I think we can fully restore the SS Shepherd. Cool. Alright. Can we kill this guy before he kills anybody? Cool. All right. Those guys can ship away at the the lava. Is there anything else on this floor? Or is that everything? That's everything. We got all the Pikmin. Let's go. Little candy cane. So there's the black one over there. Remember those, the black ones with the red spots being pretty hostile as well. So I'm not looking forward to dealing with that. And he's pacing with a couple of the kitties. It's like I could just drop down to the next floor if that's what I decided I wanted to do. Take out the, the little ones first. And then we can take out the big one more easily. Easy! Where's the challenge? Being able to rush into the enemies really seems to be just an effective way of dealing with any real risk. Alright. And then we'll throw those guys there, bust that down. That looks like a... Ah! Uh, that's not doing very much. Ochi took more damage there than he probably should have. Does Ochi... Did I get the thing that makes Ochi's HP... Uh, grow over time. I guess we'll see. All 
Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything of value in there. I don't know if that's a zucchini or if that's a cucumber. Looks like Ochi's health is going up though. It was yellow and now it's green. All right, while they're carrying this, I'm, look I'm looking up an article about the Switch Joy-Con drift, which seems to be a thing. Also, I'm gonna throw things at my girlfriend in a second. She picked out her skin and I'm telling her not to. Company will repair drifting Joy-Con controllers for free, even if your controllers are outside the regular warranty. Interesting. I'll keep an eye on that. I might have to end up doing that. But yeah, my, I've noticed my left stick drifts over to the left a bit. I thought that it might be a, like, consequence of, like, a connection issue, like my Switch is, was too far away. And that might be the reason it was, like, disconnecting at times. I think this is the last floor I'm heading to, yeah. Could you also turn on the air conditioning? I think she's distracted. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. Can you turn on the air? I'm like, why am I so warm? I know why I'm warm now. Thank you. These things look like enemies right here, so we're just gonna throw a Pikmin at it. Ah! Oh! Emperor Ball Blacks now. See if I can bait out his attack. Okay, only his face is vulnerable. Got it. What is this over here? Understood. I need to lure him to come towards me and not be too close to the other one. Easy. Now we gotta do the same thing to the other one. What's up, friend? Bam! I need Ochi to gather this squad up. I completely missed. There we go. Took out both of the emperors. This, this is very reminiscent of, uh, the first game, I think, that obstacle up ahead. Who dis? Puddle. 
a stylist with clients all over the universe. Just say the word and he'll unleash his fashionable skills at lightning speed. Can he change my character's appearance? Well, what's a stylist doing here of all places? He must have had a reason for coming to this planet. Curious. We'll figure that out for you. For something when we get back here. I didn't. I skipped it. <laughs> okay. I guess I don't need to worry so much about the water at the moment because I can just swim across with Ochi. And there's the controller drifting again. Maybe I do need to look into this. I have no idea what that is. It looks like they're smart enough to go around though, so... What is that? It's like a weird screw. I don't know what that is. We'll see if I can figure out what's going on with the Joy-Con drifting. Well, that's everything on the radar, yeah? I guess so. I guess that screw's not important. And now we got a whole new type of Pikmin. I think I like them. I think I'm gonna use them generally more frequently than I'll use the ice ones. I'll go through all of these names after, at the end of the day. Investigation complete, 100%. I lost eight red and one rock. Not bad. For six floors full of enemies, I'd say those are pretty good results. Nice. What? Why can't these Pikmin come out? Ah, according to the Voyage log, only three types of Pikmin can be out on the surface at any given time. They really have developed a lot of protective traits to keep their species from getting totally wiped out. Uh, so we're gonna take... All of you go back in. We're gonna take 10 of you... And 20 of you. Go with that. We are running out of time. And I have Ochi up here, which normally is impossible. Alright, we'll end the day. <laughs>